Hey, what up? This is Eddie04, and today we're going to dive in into actually configuring our PS5 controller. <clears throat> I mean, DualSense wireless controller with our game Steam um, platform. Now, this is going to be very straightforward. It's similar to the PlayStation 4 controller. So the very first thing you want to do is actually get a USB-A to USB-C cable because it doesn't come with one. Well, I don't have a PS5. I actually just got the game controller and this does not include the USB-A to USB-C cable. So the first thing you need to do is actually get one of those cables. You can either use it from your Nintendo Switch if you have one or your cell phone that has USB-C. You can go ahead and plug in one of those cables into your DualSense controller. Now the next thing you want to make sure to figure out, uh, just because I, I went through this the very first time I plug it in, is that I'm going to go ahead and load Steam. And I like doing this through uh, big picture because it's, it's easier, it's uh, user friendly. So I would rather use uh, this version instead of actually just going through all the convoluted settings from Steam. So I just go ahead and click on the upper right corner for big picture mode. And as you know, this will start loading. As you can see right now, we can't hear anything. And the main reason why is because for some reason, Windows, when you plug in for the very first time, the DualSense controller, it uses the controller, thinks the controller is actually a speaker. So you wanna go ahead and go back to either pressing the window key or just go to your windows and make sure that on your audio settings, whatever it should say, speakers, wire controller, change that to your default settings, whatever it's supposed to be. In my case is, speakers, headphones. And now when we go back to big picture, we get audio again. So right off the bat, you know, I always do this test because I like showing people um, what is a before, before and after. So we're just gonna go ahead and load the game right away. Boom. We're gonna use Naruto Shippuden Ultimate Ninja Storm 4 because that's, that's the game that I always test. It's easy to test and I really like the game anyways. So we're sticking with this one. So as you can see, I'm gonna go ahead and press on the buttons and it's not doing anything. I tend to do this test of verifying if it's gonna move to the next screen uh, by pressing the buttons and the controller. Now in this case, as you can see, it's not responding. So I'm just gonna go ahead and close this. And the way you can actually set this up to work correctly is actually going back to the main big picture screen, go to the upper right corner where the little gear button is, and then go all the way down to controller settings. And as you can see now, you have a PlayStation 5 controller connected, or that's the controller that's been detected. The only thing you need to do, which is really straightforward, is go to PlayStation Configuration Support, go ahead and enable that, go back, and that's about it. So if I go back to the game, which is Naruto Ultimate Ninja Storm 4, we're gonna load the game again. If you like this video, go ahead and hit that thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and don't forget to click on the notification bell to be notified whenever I release a brand new video. In the meantime, also watch any of these new videos like these. This is Eddie4. See you on the next video.